the FBI would share updates with me today, but they say they're still looking in, looking out for Jose Duenas Quinones, that was the husband. There's a warrant out for his arrest for killing his wife, Micaela Juarez Occult. While her community waits for answers and justice, they're taking action to try and prevent more domestic violence from happening here in Madison. To know that she died in the last moments in fear of not knowing what her kids were gonna, were they gonna survive or not, is terrifying. Mika Elawara's occult death is something Araceli Esparza thinks about a lot and doesn't want people to forget. As a mother and as a survivor, I am definitely wanting to uplift those stories so that we can break the isolation and not make it a, a, a characteristic of our community to have these type of, to let it go this far. Esparza is helping facilitate a free event for people to listen to others, share their domestic violence survival stories, and talk about tools and resources to prevent it. It's an issue that affects us all as a community. Dante Viscara heard war occult story and wanted to help connect potential victims to Dane County resources that could help them escape domestic abuse. So it's open for those women that, that are out there that are seeking for some help, resources. What do I do? I'm involved in a situation where I, I cannot get out of here. Both Viscara and Esparza hope the event inspires people to break the cycle. No, the solution is yourself. Your solution is to utilize your voice to speak out, to question it, and to be and to seek services. The event is called Red Heels Steps Toward Justice, and they encourage women and men attending to wear red shoes. It's Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon at Central Library in Madison on the third floor. Live in the studio, Marcus Arsvold, WMTV 15 News.